let's move now to the NBA, where the relaunch is just around the corner. And there have been a lot of questions about how the layoff will affect the rest of the season. But Anthony Davis says the Lakers' chances of winning a title of winning a title are actually higher because the rest has let them heal up and decompress. LeBron is trying to get some intimidation going, posting on Instagram, quote, more ready, hashtag revenge season coming soon. We're joined now by the one and only Slick Rick NBA analyst. But Marcellus, yes. I'm going to start with you. Do yes. you agree with Anthony Davis here? Unfortunately, I do. Oh, man, this is the wrong thing that happened to the NBA. Um, look, the Lakers were rolling before the pandemic hit. And I remember being in that moment, sitting on the couch with my wife. We were about to watch some NBA basketball. And then all of a sudden, they canceled the game. Rudy Gobert tested positive, And we're sitting there. And my wife, anesthesiologist, background nurse, she's immediately thinking about, non-perishables and let's get cleaning supplies. She immediately hits Amazon, starts to say, we got to go to the store and do all that stuff. I'm sitting there like, damn it. We were about to get those Lakers fatigued, tired, and worn out because they're the third oldest team in the league, second oldest by experience, and we just needed the law of attrition to continue to just wear on them. And then with the pause, selfishly, I said, it's not going to hurt my Clippers, but it's certainly going to help these Lakers to be able to collect their breath and to refresh their bodies and minds and go back out there. So to me, Anthony Davis hit the nail on the head. Yeah, this is going to help them. Everyone's feeling better. They're going to roll. Marcellus, I think you're approaching this as a cautious Clippers fan rather <laughs> than a clear-eyed NBA fan. Okay. Yes, the Lakers are old. They have Five guys who are 32 years or older, mm. Dwight Howard would make six. And the latest I've heard is that they are expecting him to be there. That's half of your roster at 30 plus years old. And I know you and I have had this conversation before in terms of when you get into your 30s, it takes you a lot longer to start that engine. It's like your <laughs> old car. You can't just run out and dial it up. Yeah. You got to give it a little time to warm up. That's what half of this Lakers roster is facing. But here's, here's the problem that I have. Uh, I don't want to say in these t turbulent, divisive times, I want to be a nicer person. So I'm not going to say that <laughs> Anthony Davis is a dope. I'm going to say he sounds like one. Ooh. And the media that co-signed this and Ooh. didn't ask any critical questions afterward are right there with him. They, he obviously didn't go to the University of Texas or Columbia and, and, and study <laughs> critical thinking. Because if he's healthier, okay, if he's healthier, oh, don't do this. By the way, nobody else. If he's healthier, Kawhi Leonard is healthier. Paul George is healthier. Luka Doncic mm. is, her, is, is healthier. Eric Gordon is healthier. Zion Williamson mm. is healthier. Yo, There's too. a whole crew of guys that they have to go through. And oh, by the way, to my knowledge, none of those teams lost their starting point guard in Avery Bradley. So mm. please help me in understanding mm. why how you would look at the Lakers at this point and say, you know what, they're in better shape than they were last time we saw them. They might be, but so is everybody else, and they're not in better shape. I, I think about this, Slick Rick. Mm. I moved to L.A., what, two weeks ago now, so I don't get out much, but on the weekends I like to take trips. So I, I hop into my car this past weekend. I drive out to Orange County. What kind of didn't car you got? Didn't okay. Okay. It's a rental. It's a rental. Okay. <laughs> a Hyundai, actually. Um, I, I, I didn't realize how far it was, so I drive back to O.C., and I drive back, and I park in my garage. My car was on E. It was on empty. Just because it sat in the garage for a while, Marcellus, when I go back to the garage, it's still going to be on E unless I put gas into the tank. Therefore, just because some players rest, unless you've actually taken the necessary precautions, unless you've actually done things to rehabilitate and rehab, you will still show up to a degree depleted. But to Slick Rick's point, I think about what I've been seeing on social media. Take a look at John Morant, for example. He ain't been chilling this offseason or this mm. last three and a half months. He just posted he put on about 12 pounds of muscle because he been working. And I was like, okay, well, that's just one dude. But then you look at Zion. Mm. Zion, he looked like he been yeah. in the gym. He looked like Bane from The Dark Knight Rises with his mask on. <laughs> he ready now. Ready. So just because AD been chilling and getting right, rather, and just because LeBron been getting right, I'm thinking everybody else has been getting right, too. Mm. By the way, Jaron Jackson, Jr., John Morant wasn't playing with his running buddy last time we saw them. He's now had a chance to recover from that knee injury. 
Grizzlies are probably the Lakers' first round matchup. So they're going to get the Grizzlies at their best or certainly better than we last saw them. The other thing is, is with Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis has not had a problem getting healthy. He's had a problem staying healthy. So the fact that he's feeling good now (laughs) does not mean that that body is not going to break down again once we get back to playing. All of which I'm just... Ah, if only he'd gone to Texas and not. <laughs> hey, man, Slick Rick, I had something to retort. I had a comeback. Here you go. That comeback is gone. All right, y'all not going to put me in a position where I got to defend the damn Lakers, but I got to defend the Lakers. They were on a collision course. Like you said, how much gas before I get to the destination? Mm-hmm. Everyone's done and trying to go to Vegas or, I chose case, Orange County. Do I have enough in the tank? And they were mentally having anxiety about having enough in the tank. At least that worry is off of their plate. Now they could go out there and play. Everyone has gotten better, so it's a universal application, not a problem. But at least the Lakers are saying, we're not going to get in our own way going forward because we won't be fatigued. I get it. I get it. I get good. it. The, the, the Lakers tank is on full, but everybody else's is too. You ain't lying there.